Hello all, in this particular tutorial, we will learn how to use the trusted search with Oracle Wallet. Now let me tell you something. This is not a step-by-step -step tutorial. This is a reverse engineering video where what I will be doing is like, I'll be trying to access the website from Oracle database and what the user is facing the problem. We will try to find the solution to that. But let me tell you one thing that although this is a reverse engineering, if you follow this particular steps in a reverse way, you will be able to set it up as well. So either way you can follow it, but this is a not a step-by-step -step tutorial. This is a reverse engineering tutorial. Now we will create <laughs> a user called test and that user will try to access this particular website and what problems that particular user is getting and how to fix is what we are going to do. And the user that I'm going to create, I'll grant only create session, no other privilege to that particular user. And then we will see by using this particular user, we will try to access and we will try to fix the problem. So let's begin. So the first thing is we need to connect to the database. I've already set the environmental variable, so I'm not going to do that again. What I'm going to do, I'm going to clear the screen. Let me run this three statement one by one. So first thing, I'm going to create the user. User is created. I'm going to give him the create session. That's done. And because we are going to reconnect remotely, I'll just keep a name. So aura 19 d is the name of the database. Let me go to the SQL developer because it makes my life a little bit easier. And let me try to make a connection to that particular database. And here I'll say test user and aura 19 d It is hosted on DB1. The user is test. The password for that user is also test and not as a sysdba default connection. Test looks good. Connect. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the SQL worksheet. Now, first thing that we are going to do is we are going to see if that particular user is able to access the Oracle website from the Oracle database. Let's run this. And you can see that we got an error. So let's try to understand this error. The Here we got multiple lines, but the main error is network access denied by access control list. So there is a concept called ACL where Oracle is blocking the request from the Oracle database to this particular website. We need to fix that particular error. To fix that particular error, what we need to do is we need to follow these two steps, create ACL, assign ACL. So we are going to create the ACL and then we are going to assign that ACL. And when we assign, we'll say host is oracle.com, which means that it will, the, the this particular network access control list will allow the access to the Oracle website from the Oracle database. So let's do this one by one. So let's take this. Let me do host clear. First part is creating the ACL. So create ACL. That looks good. Second part is assign the ACL. And that looks good. So both commands have been completed successfully. Now let's see. Let's run this particular command once again. And we got network access denied. Let's see whether we what error we get now. So let's run this. And now we got a different error. So let me take this error here. And again, this all is not important. The most important part is certificate validation failure. So we have gone past this error. And now we are introduced with a new error where it is looking for the certificates. Now, which certificates is it looking for? It's looking for this particular website certificate because as you can see, it's a secure HTTPS protocol, which means it needs the trusted search and the root search to connect to this particular website. So now to do that, what we need is we need to create a wallet and we need to add the certificates into that wallet for this particular website. So let's do that. So to create the wallet, what we'll do is like we'll use the Aura PKI wallet create. We'll create the wallet at this location and it will be an auto login and this what is the password of the wallet. And once we have created the wallet, what we are going to do, we are going to add the trusted certs, the two certs, one is the CA cert and one is the root cert. And from where I will get this, from where I will get this, that basically that for to get these certificates, we need to go to the Oracle website. So let's open any browser. You can use whatever browser you are comfortable with. And let's connect to that particular website. Click on this secure icon. Connection is secure. More information. View certificate. We are interested in CA1 and root. So we are interested in these two certificates. So click on this. 
download the PAM, that's good. Rename this as CA, that's good. And the another one is, you know, root. So let's download that and let's rename that as a root. So we got both of these certificates. Now let's close the browser. We no longer need the browser. What we are going to do, we are going to transfer these certificates to the, we are going to transfer these certificates to reconnect. Yeah. So we are going to transfer these certificates to the, to the database server. So let's do that. So I've transferred them to the database server. So I've downloaded those. Now what we are going to do, we are going to follow these three steps. We are going to create the wallet. We are going to add the CA and root certificate into the wallet. Let's do that one by one. Before creating the wallet, let me show you if this particular directory exists. So instead of doing this in the same, I'll open another session. Clear. And let me little bit maximize this. Yeah. So CD this directory and you can see there is no such directory. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the wallet with the same location and the wallet is completed. And now if I run this particular command, I should have my wallet. So you can see the directory is there. And in that directory, we got four files, the SSO file and the wallet P12 file. So we got our wallet created. Now, what the next part is, what we need to do is we need to, as I said, I have transferred two things on the server. One is the CA cert and one is a root cert. So these two certs we are going to add to the to the wallet. Before adding to the wallet, I'll show you what's there in the wallet. So I'm going to use the Aura PKI wallet display location of the wallet. And here you can see I don't have any certificates in the wallet. There is absolutely no certificate. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add those two certificates into the wallet. So let's do that one by one. So the CA1, so that's done. You can see the command I used is Aura PKI wallet add location of the wallet trusted cert CA and again the same command but this time it is using the root. So let's do that. Both is completed and now if I run the display command wallet display command I should see that I got the CA certificate and the root CA certificate. So now everything looks good and now I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to access this. I'm going to run this again. So let's do that. And I'm still getting the same error which I got before, which means that creating the wallet has not fixed my problem, but I'm actually wrong because at this moment, this particular command does not know where to look for the wallet. So we need to tell Oracle where to look for the wallet. And to do that, what we are going to do, we are going to use the set wallet we are going to use the set wallet command. This is the location of the wallet. And using this command, we are saying to the Oracle, look for the wallet here. And is going to look for those certificates, the, the certificates in this wallet. So let's do that. That's done. And now if everything that I have done is correct, then we should be making a successful connection to oracle.com. Let's see if it works. And you can see, we now no longer get a website error we are getting a response from oracle.com. This is the output that we got from the oracle.com. So as you can see, we have fixed the problem of the wallet and certificate. And to do that, only four steps, create ACL, assign ACL, create the wallet, add the certificate in the wallet. Once you have done this, you should be able to make the connection to the website from the Oracle database using the secure protocol. I hope this reverse engineering tutorial was useful. In this particular tutorial, we learned how to use the wallet with the trusted search. Again, thank you for watching. See you in next tutorial. And at again, lastly, I would like to say, if you do like the videos that I'm uploading, if you do like the content that I'm uploading to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.